Renting out your home to make some extra cash seems like a sound idea, but hold on. Unless you own your home outright, putting it up for rent or even letting out a room might not be as straightforward as you think. It could even lead to you losing your home if you don't follow the rules. I'm Louise Gookie and this is Move IQ's essential guide to renting out your home. There could be a number of reasons you're thinking about it. Perhaps you're moving in with a partner and aren't ready to sell your place yet. You might be working abroad or hoping to make some extra income by renting out a room. Before we dive in, make sure you subscribe to our newsletter. It's packed with tips, news, expert info, and updates on the property market. So if you love all things property related, just click the link below and sign up for free. So if you're thinking of renting out your home, did you know that you'll probably need permission from your mortgage lender? This is called consent to rent, and it's part of your mortgage agreement. If you ignore it, that amounts to mortgage fraud. Your lender could demand you repay the mortgage or else it will repossess your home. So don't skip this. When weighing up whether to give you consent to rent, a lender will consider your income, how much equity you have in your home, and how long you've been on your current deal. For instance, if you've just bought the property, they're less likely to say yes. Your lender will ask if the arrangement is going to be long or short term. If it's a long term let, say more than a year, you'll need to switch over to a buy to let deal. And if you've brought using help to buy or a similar scheme, there's a different set of rules. The other thing you need to do is to work out whether renting is going to be worth it. Get a rough idea of your likely rental income and expenses, including insurances, repairs, and maintenance costs. And think about whether you are going to manage the rental yourself or get a letting agent. With a letting agent, there's an extra monthly cost, but dealing with it yourself can be time consuming and stressful, as there's a whole load of legislation to get your head around. On top of that, you'll have to handle things like tenancy deposit schemes, complaints, and rent collection. If you don't use a letting agent, you'll need to screen potential tenants carefully for their credit score, rental history, and employment status. So what about renting out a room? Again, you should check with your mortgage lender as occasionally mortgage agreements say no to you having lodgers. Others allow it providing you're living in the property at the same time. And if you're a council tenant, then it's vital you check your tenancy agreement before renting out a room. The same goes if you live in a leasehold property. Check your lease to see if you need permission from the freeholder to rent out either a room or the whole place. The good news is that under the rent a room scheme, you can earn up to £7,500 per year tax-free. Anything over that needs to be declared to your tax office. Just like renting out your whole home without a letting agent, renting a room will involve advertising for lodgers and screening them. As they'll be sharing your home, it's even more important to agree clear boundaries and expectations before your lodger moves in. And don't forget to check your buildings and contents insurance, as taking on a lodger could affect your premium. But what about letting out your home for holidays? If you live in an area that's popular with visitors, this can be pretty lucrative. However, you won't be surprised to learn there are plenty of rules and regulations to stick to. Short-term rental apps like Airbnb will guide you through these. With all rental income, make sure you talk to a good accountant who can help you with what needs to be declared for tax purposes and what expenses can be claimed. Get familiar with the regulations, make sure you have the right permissions, calculate your income and expenses, decide how you'll manage your property and screen potential tenants carefully and you'll be well set up for success. Good luck.